Welcome to Castaic, California. I'm here at the Williams Ranch community here in Castaic. I'm gonna be showing you guys plans 14 and plans 15 here at Williams Ranch. And yes, there are 15 different homes here at Williams Ranch. And if you're not aware where Castaic is, it's okay. It's a small community here in Santa Clarita, just north of Santa Clarita, right off of the five freeway. And of course, right across the way from Castaic Lake. Okay, so let me give you a quick scoop on these two homes, okay? Plan 14 is gonna start off at 3,838 square feet and can go up to over 4,500 square feet, okay? The lot size, it's gonna be an average of nine to 10,000 square feet, but the lot size for the home that we're actually gonna take a look at is 11,000 square feet. We're gonna have four bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. For plan 15, the one right behind me, you're gonna be starting off at 4,136 square feet and can go up to almost 4,400 square feet. Now the average lot size for this is gonna be 11,000, so a little bit larger than the plan 14 with the lot size, and that's exactly what we're looking at right here. Bedroom count is gonna be five, and you're gonna get five and a half bathrooms with this one. They have lots here up to 16,000 square feet, so you have a lot of land to these homes. You don't get that in the Five Points or Skyline communities. When I'm going through these homes, I'm gonna show you what the variability in the square footage really is, why you're getting such a big variance in the square footage. Just so you know, there are also gonna be 497 homes that are gonna be built here and they've already sold 100 of them. So if you're planning on coming to this community, you might wanna do it pretty quickly because they're gonna run out of homes quick and they're only gonna be here for the next three years. And when they're done, they are out of here. All right guys, we're gonna start with plan 14 first, but before I get into that, I wanna remind you guys that there are a total of 15 different models here at Williams Ranch. And if you guys are interested in taking a look at any of those models, make sure to hit us up. All of our contact information is down below. The team and I are ready to get working with you. So of course we're in the four year space right here. And the first space that we are introduced to is the office slash lounging space. That's really what they have it focused on as a lounging space. That's what they have it staged as. And then you have this closet space right here. It's kind of an open space right now. I would personally use it as more of a storage space for any of my business items. As we're walking out of this space, you obviously have the wide hallway here and you have the bathroom space. It's just a half bath right here. That's the half bath that we have counted here in this space and then we're going into the guest space. And we are officially in our very first bedroom. They have it staged as an office space. I would personally use it as a guest bedroom, but this is what they have it staged as. They have a full closet and they have a full bathroom here as well, so your guest is nice and comfortable. Coming out of the very first bedroom, we are going back into the hallway, but going into the official dining space. You know what, they staged it pretty well here. It's really close to the kitchen that we're gonna be going to in a little bit. But let me know what you guys think about the actual paint that is in these rooms, the contrast that they have with the darker back wall and the lighter gray that they have on these walls. And let me know what you guys think about the exterior paint as well. Now we're moving on to everyone's favorite space, the kitchen. We have premium appliances and you have different packages available for the appliances, but we have the microwave here, we have the oven here, which has a ton of features as well, the large refrigerator, and we have this awesome waterfall countertop with the black and white. And I think contrasts so well with the white cabinetry. You have the soft closed cabinetry with the black hardware. And check this out. You have a built-in spice rack. So you can put literally everything you can think of in this spice rack, but check it out. You actually have two of them. And above that, you have the induction stove top here with the stainless steel hood. Then we are a short walk away from this deep sink. I love this sink. I love the large sinks. It's always really convenient whenever I'm cooking. Let me give you a quick scoop on this induction range. I know a lot of people aren't fans of the electric stove, but this one is induction. So it's only hot to pots and pans. And if you have dum-dums like this, that like to touch stoves, you'll be absolutely safe. And if you're like me, and if you have curious kids, they're gonna be absolutely safe. And the reason why they use specifically an electric product like that is because this house is 100% electric powered by a Tesla solar roof. 
Right next to the kitchen, we have this wet room space. You have tons of storage right here and going into your basically four car garage. One thing I like about this space is that you, it, it's seamless. You're going from the kitchen space into the living space and it's a very open area. It feels great in here. And that's one thing I really like about Williams Homes is because they're actually a local builder and they pay attention to what their customers are saying. And that's really what you want out of a builder. You want somebody that's actually going to listen to you and take that criticism and make a better product. And one thing about this living space, the reason why it's so seamless is because of, of course, the high ceilings. Yeah, it's about 15 feet. It's good. One thing I appreciate more than most things is family time. And I think that with a home like this, executing family time is gonna be very, very easy because of this loft space. It feels like it's a space that's personalized for you and your family. Downstairs, that's for everyone else. Upstairs, this is for you. And Williams Homes theme here is family. These larger homes and larger bedroom counts are built for larger families, possibly older kids. And one of the points that they really harp on here is the newer high school. Castaic High School is just two years old and it's really high tech and they have a lot of amenities in the school itself and that's really who they kept in mind for this community. We have bedroom number two here with a full walk-in closet and a bathroom right next door, as well as the laundry room, which I'm gonna show you right now. The laundry space has a lot of optional items here. The cabinetry that you see here is an option. It's not something that comes standard, but this model home does display that and the sink as well. Now onto the third bedroom, which is, this is the bedroom for the kid that you do like, okay? We have the full walk-in closet again. We have the larger room, again, for the kid that you like. And it actually has its own dedicated bathroom with a standing shower, again, for the kid you like, but you just don't tell anyone else. Now we're on to the space that I know everyone has been waiting for, the master bedroom. This space is massive. Just for reference, this is a king size bed. On top of this massive master bedroom, you have an awesome, just oversized bathroom. And here we have the bathroom. This is absolutely massive, but totally necessary. And this is one of those situations where size does matter, okay? Typically, a master bathroom is like this section, but we also have that section which is uh, basically uh, hers, hers, and his section because you have a sink there, you have the vanity mirror, mirror right there, and you have, you have the freestanding tub. Totally necessary. My, my wife would totally be into this. What makes this home go from 3,800 square feet to over 4,500 square feet is this space right up here, right above the garage. You have your own dedicated optional ADU. This is basically one big badass one bedroom apartment. Okay, you have your kitchen space here, of course, living space here, and a little dining nook right over here and the bedroom on the other side. We have the full bathroom here with a standing shower and you have your own dedicated laundry space. Decent sized bedroom. This is a full size bed just for reference. So you have a decent amount of size and you have a full walk-in closet. plan 15 and it's the same kind of concept in the foyer where you have a office space right here obviously built out to be an office space that's what they have it staged as i like this space a little bit better because of the contrast with the the paint itself but there like, you can kind of make it your own because there's another wing that i'll show you that can be an office space as well i mentioned in the last house that there is a room for a kid that you don't really like but i think it's this room for this house because this is absolutely unnecessarily big. And let's say you don't have it for a kid, you put all the junk that you weren't gonna use for holiday decorations, because I know you have a lot of junk. This is a part of the house that feels like it's its own wing. You have the garage here, you have a half bath for guests right here. You have a full closet, walk-in closet here going into 
the bedroom space that we're going into now. And you have, of course, a full bathroom right here as well. Then we have the dining space here. A little bit of a different styling when it comes to the staging itself. Feels a little bit more compact as well, just because of it, it's not as wide as the previous home, but I, I'm kind of eager. I want to jump through this so I can show you guys something pretty cool. Coming from the dining room, we find ourselves in this mini bar area, which I think is pretty cool, pretty convenient. It can be a, even a food prep space, but it has this built-in wine fridge that I think is pretty cool. And then you transition into the kitchen space, which personally is my favorite kitchen out of all the models here. So if you remember the last kitchen, it had more of a modern, clean style to it. And the reason why I prefer this kitchen just a little bit more is because of the feeling that you get when you walk into this kitchen. From the darker cabinetry, the brass fixtures, it just has a, a different feeling to it that when you walk into this kitchen, you know you've made it. For a kitchen at this level, it deserves something like this. This is a modern take on a classic six burner stove, which obviously is not as kid friendly as the last one. But let me know what you think. Do you prefer this kitchen or the kitchen that we saw before? Put it in the comment section down below. In keeping up with the family theme, there's a seamless transition from the kitchen over to the living space. And that's the beauty of using a builder like Williams Homes. They have such a strong sense of community that they actually use local vendors to help them furnish these homes. This is all from people that they can call their neighbors because they actually live here in Santa Clarita. They grew up here in Santa Clarita. I know you saw this space earlier and I'm sure you're curious as to what this space really is. This is a space that gives you full creativity. Now this gives you multiple options. It can be a gaming room just like this. It can be an ADU or it can be an open space. This is something that you have full creativity on and Williams Homes gives you that ability. Here on the second floor, we have the loft space and yet again, we find ourselves with the family theme. It has a great feeling. What I mentioned earlier in the last loft, you have the TV, you have the comfy couch. It just feels like home. We have the first bedroom upstairs. Feels a little bit more like a guest bedroom. It's a little bit smaller. Keep in mind, we got five bedrooms in this house, but you still have a walk-in closet here and a bathroom so that everyone on the loft can use the restroom as well. Then we go into the massive laundry space with its own linen closet, and these are for the kids that you do like. Full bathroom in each one of these rooms and a full walk-in closet. This bedroom is a little bit smaller than that one, but you still have a full bathroom and walk-in closet. Now we're on to the master and the master bedroom does not disappoint. You thought the last bathroom was awesome. Check this one out because it just went a couple notches higher. You have the custom waterfall shower in here. Everything in here feels like it flows just a little bit better. You have the freestanding tub again in this, in this bathroom and you have his and hers. You don't have a vanity per se in this one, but you can make this space into your own makeup space, whatever it needs to be. And we have, of course, the massive walk-in closet. I know we didn't walk through the backyard in the last home, but I thought this was a great idea. And typically this isn't an option with a lot of builders, but this is something that you can do. And again, I thought it was a great idea. Having the grill space off to the side with a bar space right here and your own pizza oven. I think that's a great idea. Normally I'd be walking out of the house, transitioning into an outro or something like that, but it feels so homey in here. We've been here for hours and I, I feel like I live here now. If you guys wanna take a look at any other luxury homes in the area, specifically at Five Points, take a look at this video right here. If you're thinking more of a townhome type of feel, take a look at this video right here and I'll have subscribed somewhere on here if you wanna take a look at any other, other videos that we have. That was a lot of words. I'll see you next time.